हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल आई किड्स एंटार्टिका इज अदर वर्ल्ड लाइक नथिंग आई हैव एवर सीन बिफोर स्टार्क कोल्ड ब्यूटीफुल डेजोलेशन Antarctica is Earth's southernmost continent. It contains the geographic South Pole and is situated in the Antarctic region of the southern hemisphere. What is a continent? The Earth is divided into seven major land masses. Each is called a continent. Antarctica is surrounded by the Antarctic Ocean. also known as the southern ocean Antarctica is the fifth largest continent almost double the size of Australia it is by far the least populated continent about 98% of Antarctica is covered by ice the McMurdo dry valleys are a row of largely snow free valleys Antarctica on average is the coldest, driest and windiest continent and it has the highest average elevation of all the continents. The wind speed can go more than 350 km per hour. Most of the continent is higher than 3 km. Most of Antarctica is a polar desert. It means that not only the total rainfall is low enough to classify it as a desert also the annual temperatures are very low it means the mean temperature during the warmest month is less than 10 degree centigrade most polar deserts are covered in ice sheets ice fields or ice caps 80% of the world fresh water reserves are stored in Antarctica. Antarctica was the last region on earth to be discovered, likely unseen until 1820 when the Russian expedition sighted the Fimble ice shelf. Ice shelf is a floating sheet of ice permanently attached to a landmass. There are 6 ice shelves in Antarctica. There is this Antarctic Treaty that regulates international relations with respect to Antarctica. It establishes freedom of scientific investigation and it prohibits any military activity, mineral mining, nuclear explosions and nuclear waste disposal and it also protects the continent's ecology. Between 1000 and 5000 people from many countries reside at research stations scattered across the continent. Lakes and rivers. The longest river is the Oint The largest lake Vostok is one of the largest subglacial lakes in the world. Deep lake in Antarctica is so salty that it cannot freeze even in temperatures as low as negative 15 degrees Celsius. A subglacial lake is a lake that is found under a glacier, typically beneath a ice cap or ice sheet. blood falls there is a subglacial lake that flows blood red in 1911 on a remote glacier in east antarctica a strange phenomenon was observed the lily white ice of the taylor glacier was being stained a deep red by water flowing from deep within the glacier for many years the source of the red color remained a mystery but Recently in 2017 scientists announced that they had discovered the cause the water flowing from within the glacier was from a subglacial lake high in salt and oxidized iron and when it came into contact with oxygen 
the iron rusted, giving the water its striking red shade and hence its name, Blood Falls. Coastal types around Antarctica. Around 44% is ice shell, 38% is ice walls, 13% is ice streams and 5% is rocks. An ice shelf is a large floating platform of ice that forms where a glacier or ice sheet flows down to a coastline and onto the ocean surface. Whereas an ice wall is a wall made up of ice. An ice stream is a region of fast moving ice within an ice sheet. It is a type of glacier, a body of ice that moves under its own weight. Several Antarctic ice streams flow to one of the many Antarctic ice chills, a process known as ice sheet dynamics. Trans-Antarctic Mountains Antarctica is divided in two by the Trans-Antarctic Mountains close to the neck between the Ross Sea and the Weddell Sea. The portion west of the Weddell Sea and east of the Ross Sea is called West Antarctica and the remainder is East Antarctica. Blue Ice Area a blue ice area is an ice-covered area of Antarctica where wind-driven snow transport and sublimation result in net mass loss from the ice surface in the absence of melting, forming a blue-colored surface that contrasts with the white color of the Antarctic surface. Only about 1% of Antarctic ice area can be considered to be blue ice area. but they have attracted scientific interest due to the large number of meteorites that accumulate on them. The hard, flat and smooth surfaces of blue ice areas have been used as air aircraft runways in parts of Antarctica. The very old ice in blue ice areas has been used to reconstruct past climate and the temporal resolution may be larger than in deep ice pools. Blue ice areas are candidate sites for ice core drilling, aimed at recovering 1.5 million years old ice and 2.7 million year old ice has been recovered from such areas. West Antarctica is covered by the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. The sheet has been recently the sheet has been of recent concern because of the small possibility of its collapse. If the sheet were to break down, ocean levels would rise by several meters in a relatively short geological period of time, perhaps a matter of centuries. If you are liking the video, please like, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe. East Antarctica. It lies on the Indian Ocean side of the Trans-Antarctic Mountains and is largely covered by the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. The East Antarctic Ice Sheet is the largest on the entire planet. The Ellsworth Mountains are the highest mountain ranges in Antarctica. Vincent Massif is a large mountain massif the highest peak in Antarctica at around 16,000 feet. Mount Erebus on Ross Island is the world's southernmost active volcano. There is some evidence that Lake Vostok's waters may contain microbial life. The frozen surface of the lake shares similarities with Jupiter's moon Europa. If life is discovered in Lake Vostok, it would strengthen the argument for the possibility of life on Europa. Well, that sounds interesting. Antarctica is the coldest of Earth's continents. However, it was ice-free until about 34 million years ago, when it became covered with ice. The lowest natural air temperature was 
recorded on earth in 1983. It was around 90 degrees Celsius below zero at the Russian Vostok station in Antarctica. Sunburn is often a health issue as the snow surface reflects almost all of the ultraviolet light falling on it. Long periods of constant darkness or constant sunlight create climates unfamiliar to human beings in much of the rest of the world. East Antarctica is colder than its western counterpart. You know why? Because of its higher elevation. In January of 1979, Emily Marco Palmer became the first ever human to be born in Antarctica. Since then, only 10 other people have, bo have been born on the continent. The Aurora Australis, commonly known as the Southern Lights, is a glow observed in the night sky near the South Pole created by the plasma full solar winds that pass by the Earth. The solar wind is a stream of charged particles released from the upper atmosphere of the Sun called Corona. Diamond dust. Another unique spectacle in Antarctica, diamond dust is a ground level cloud composed of tiny ice crystals. Diamond dust is made of tiny ice crystals that precipitate out of humid air near the Earth's surface. It's a little like an icy fog. As ice crystals hang suspended in the air, Sunlight causes them to sparkle, creating a glittering effect that looks like a million tiny floating diamonds. Diamond dust is also responsible for beautiful optical phenomena like sun dogs, halos and light pillars. In the polar regions of Earth, diamond dust may persist for several days without interruption. A sun dog, a frequent atmospheric optical phenomena, is a bright spot beside the true sun. Also called perihelion in meteorology, it is an atmospheric optical phenomena that consists of a bright spot to one or both sides of the sun. Two sun dogs often flank the sun within a 22 degree halo. Climate in Antarctica Heavy snowfalls, catabatic winds and clear but short summer days. Heavy snowfalls are common on the coastal portion of the continent where snowfalls of up to 48 inches in 48 hours have been recorded. A catabatic wind is a drainage wind, a wind that carries high density air from a higher elevation down a slope under the force of gravity. During clear days in summer, more solar radiation reaches the surface at the south pole than at the equator because of the 24 hours of sunlight each day at the pole. Climate change. Some of Antarctica has been warming up. Over the second half of the 20th century, the Antarctic Peninsula was the fastest warming place on Earth. In February 2020, the continent recorded its highest temperature of 18.3 degrees centigrade, which was a degree higher than the previous record of 17.5 degrees centigrade in March 2015. Ozone Depletion there is a large area of low ozone concentration or ozone hole over Antarctica. The ozone hole is attributed to the emission of chlorofluorocarbons or commonly called as CFCs into the atmosphere, which decompose the ozone into other gases. Antarctic animals and wildlife that do occupy this frosty landscape are well adapted to handle the incredibly harsh conditions.
Antarctic sea life includes penguins, blue whales, orcas, colossal squids, and fur seals. The emperor penguin is the tallest and the heaviest of all living penguin species and it is endemic to Antarctica. That means it is not found anywhere else on earth. Plants There are only three species of flowering plants. Antarctic hair grass, Antarctic polewort and non-native annual bluegrass. Growth is restricted to a few weeks in summer. Territorial claims Seven sovereign states that have made territorial claims in Antarctica are Argentina, Australia, Chile, France, New Zealand, Norway and the United Kingdom. These countries have tended to, tended to place their Antarctic scientific observation and study facilities within their respective claim territories. However, a number of such facilities are located outside of the area claimed by their respective countries of operation. And countries without claims such as India, Italy, Russia, Pakistan, Ukraine, even the United States have constructed research facilities within the areas claimed by the other countries. Research Each year scientists from 28 nations conduct experiments not reproducible in any other place in the world. McMurder Station, which is the largest research station in Antarctica, is capable of housing more than 1,000 scientists, visitors and tourists. In the summer, more than 4,000 scientists operate research stations. This number decreases to just over 1,000 in the winter. On the southernmost tip of the planet is one of the world's most massive and mysterious landmasses, the frozen realm of Antarctica. Would you want to explore it? Well, I would. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, like and comment and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Check out our other videos too.